Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. I'm going to be continuing my Hoi 4 vanilla game as the United States. I guess I just should just say Hoi 4, right? I should get used to that. Um, but we were sort of getting familiar with the uh, the new DLC, Man the Guns. Did not assign you a leader. And you are so low on stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, it's fine. I do want, um, army experience. Which is okay. I'm just hoping you guys are not wasting all of it. Let's see. You're still gaining infantry equipment. Even though you're drilling. So that's, that's, that's fine. I don't need you to do anything else. Support equipment, though, is actually dropping. That's kind of disappointing. All of these divisions have support companies, so there's no way to drill without wasting that. Ah, fine. We'll stop this. Let's not waste the resources we have. We'll just try to fill up on guns and the rest as well. And the music is kind of... I mean, I just started the game. Relax. I could put it on speed 5. I probably should, right? There's not a lot going to happen in the first few uh, months. I mean, this is America. We have to get over the Great Depression. We have to ditch um, our president here, Franklin D. Roosevelt. He dislikes Germany. Wow, that's got to go. War plan division is done. So we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, nation building in the Philippines, no. Withdraw from the naval treaties. No, we don't want to do that. Wait, this one should have given me... War plans decisions. War propaganda? No. Is there a war plan decision? Not that I can see. Okay, now I can do these because of... Um, yeah, because we're not doing a focus, then we can suddenly use those. Nope. Intervention in the Americas. Yeah, there's no way we can do Asia or Europe. Execute war plan Crimson. Ooh, we could go after Mexico? Just right away? Uh, maximum command power. I kind of think we should get the Pentagon built. Max war decision. Planning speed. It also gives us Chief of Army Walter Kruger. That's strangely German for, uh, for for an American. I could be wrong, though. Walter Kruger. Planning speed. He's an expert. Wow, division attack is, is a division attack. Why would I pick this guy? Whatever. Um... Going to war this early on is kind of not good. Huh. Let's see here. It says here, unlocks decision, execute war plan green. While active, infrastructure construction speed. Mexico, Mexico gets an attack bonus and a defense bonus against us. And we can unlock... Increases trade opinion with all American nations. Unlocks intervention ma mandate decisions. Execute war plan gray. Huh. Hemispheric... Hemisphere defense. Create faction. Cre a treaty of reciprocal assistance. So we would not join the Allies. I don't even want to join the Allies, but this is interesting. Silver, that's Italy, that's France, Germany, Russia, and... Ooh! England? Interesting. Yeah, we don't want to do this. I think we'll just get the War Department on locked and get the Pentagon built. These should disappear? Or no? Stability is going up. No, stability is way up. I can, st I can do a small lobby. Thing is, I don't want uh, him in charge. I want to ditch Roosevelt. So I don't really want to do those. So we got this as well. 
Okay, we'll do, we'll do uh, mechanical computing as well. Just get all that research unlocked. In the meantime, we're just sort of building slowly but surely. Uh huh. Damn, that's fast. Our navies are drilling. You don't have a dude? Why not? Oh, right, these are the ships I, I'm currently building. They're still in the queue. Ethiopia was annexed. Events and decision timeouts. So what is this exactly? In order to limit expenditure and avoid another mutually ruinous naval arms race, the great naval powers of the world have signed a number of treaties, limiting the overall size of their fleets and the size of each individual ship. Really? As a signatory of these treaties, we are subject to certain restrictions, but as long as our opponents follow them as well, the balance of power should be maintained. We are currently between 90 and 100% of Britain in capital ship strength. Okay, capital ship strength. Fascinating. So I'm guessing when this goes away, we're going to have another conference. And the Spanish Civil War. Well, that always happens. Even if it's Kaiserreich or not, it's always... Uh, I don't think I can send you guys help. Sorry. And I don't, don't even want to, because the choice in Manila is between the fascists and the communists. I suppose I prefer the fascists, because we're going to go fascist. Um, yeah. Senator votes for government proposal. In a recent vote, a senator has surprisingly switched sides to vote for a government proposal. While the issue itself was fairly minor, the public vote of support from a previously outspoken critic of Franklin D. Roosevelt has raised many eyebrows around Washington. Some analysts believe that this example will lead additional senators to reconsider their stance. Okay. I don't know if I'm happy about that. We have more than 50% here. Here, we don't. Yeah, we don't. I wish this was percentages, not just the numbers. I don't want to do math. Uh, basic machine tools is done. We'll go for concentrated. Um, do we just want raw output, or do we want to be more flexible? I think we want to be more flexible, because I'm going to build, like... Motorized divisions, and then I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to build something else. I think we want to be more flexible when it comes to our output. So the retention boost is nice. Uh, what is this? This is a new one. I want to read this one. Delegations from Britain, France, Italy, Japan, and the U.S. met in the December of 1935 to discuss a renewal of the first London Naval Treaty, which restricted the number of size of cruisers and submarines. Negotiations turned quite heated over Italy's war in Ethiopia and Japan's desire to be seen as equal to Britain and the US. With negotiations now at an end, the signatory nations have agreed on limits to the size of battleships and aircraft carriers in the hopes of preventing another ruinous arms race. So they just signed it? It's been completed. Okay, fine. House hearings into presidential misconduct. A minor scandal originating in the White House has started to gain momentum following weeks of media reports implying that a minor administrative official had been taking bribes in return for lucrative government contracts. The House Committee on Expenditure in the Executive has begun to hold hearings to determine if the president was aware of this. While most observers don't believe that this will lead to any major trouble for President Franklin D. Roosevelt, it will no doubt mean that many of the president's supporters will have to lay low for a while. Ooh. So the House just lost a bunch of support. Damn. Okay. I guess they don't like us. But where is this, like, how does this affect my status here? I don't think it does, does it? I don't know. I don't know. So I don't... I just can't click this because I don't have the political power. All right. War department is done. So I would like to build the Pentagon. So in maximum command power increases. So we could get really, really high in this. So ma current maximum is 125. I do like the, uh, the orders you can issue your generals. And having that 
be at 150. Sounds pretty good. But it is 70 days, though. But we're still waiting on Franklin D. Roosevelt to fuck off. So, I don't know. Air experience. I can't do this one. Requires the support of at least 58 senators. Oh, it changes mobilization law to limited conscription. All right. Well, I want him gone before I do anything. How do I get rid of him? There should be, yeah, there's an election in November, so we should be able to get rid of him. We don't have any governments in exile to display. Oh, right. So when governments get defeated, they could flee to us. Right. Okay. So we could just release Puerto Rico and Panama. Do we want to do that? No. Uh, excavation. Let's see here. We still have a bunch of stuff left over. I, st I think we should still do this. Like, we have so much trade. We want pe People want our stuff. If we go fascist, though, they might, you know, go against us. Should I be doing this? I don't know if I should be doing this right now or if I should, I, if I should wait. But we can't do this, though. For 240 days. So... It would take forever. We gain a core on Alaska. We gain a core on Hawaii or Puerto Rico. So let's see here. Uh, Puerto Rico, you've got 1.5 million and no resources. You've got fuck all. And wait, what was the other one? No, 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 no. It was Hawaii. All right. Ah, stop! My mouse went a wall there. All right. Uh, oh, so I think definitely Puerto Rico, just for the raw numbers. 1.5 million. If I wanted to do that. I think we will do that. Grant statehood to Puerto Rico. I'm going to do that. We're barely gaining any political power, but as soon as we get rid of the Great Depression, it should be fine. In the meantime, we're going to get you as a core. It's going to boost up the, uh, the manpower pool here. I mean, it's the same amount. It's more than Florida. There's more people in Puerto Rico than in Florida here. So, that's fine. Foreign claims. Puerto Rico. You're going to be part of the U United States. Just uh, FYI. Oh, okay, so we're almost done with all of this. Um, can you just uh, finish that? So, I, I can only put five maximum? Ah, uh, okay, build ships, naval repair queue. Design is over max a lot of cost. Okay, so this is the restriction that they have on the treaties. So some of these we can't even build. Uh, we have three carriers. I don't think I want any more. Let's see here. We got 15 heavy ships. Senator speaks out against government policy. A senator has given an interview in a major newspaper saying that he can no longer support the foolish and dangerous policies of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. He further claimed that he knew several other senators who thought similarly and would abandon the president in short order. I think this has happened before. So we just lose some senators. Okay, so we got... This is probably just destroyers, and this is cruisers. I think we're mostly lacking cruisers. Having 20... Eight of them there? Seems kind of weird. Yeah, let's just finish the Pentagon stuff here. So, how do I get cruisers? Early cruiser hull, a Brooklyn, cra a Brooklyn class, and Oglala class. Destroyer, submarine. Yeah, I can't build a lot of these. Okay. Ooh, this is very Stellaris like. So, wait, what? Oh, so this is what they were talking about. We are limited to a maximum cost of 5,300. Uh, cruiser armor 3. His armor is quite high. Why would I want such a high armor? You're supposed to be... Oh, actually, you're a screening ship. What am I talking about? You should have that you don't have a radar 
sub detection you do want radar right sonar or fire control light attack heavy attack sonar sub detection oh I can have two of these no wait why would I want two of those okay fine anti-air one and two can I get two instead yeah this is a battery a medium battery yes it is level two heavy cruiser battery as a light cruiser battery doesn't actually say that does it six inch 47 mk 16 oh we would go over so this is not it Ah oh, man we would go way over light cruiser battery light battery interesting okay so there are two sides of these so yeah these are the one this is the one in front and these are the one okay so they're still in the front and then this one is in the back okay I think I got it this is custom in the middle there right now it's an anti-air gun secondary battery aircraft facilities surface detection sub detection a simple airplane launcher propels a small scout plane into the air torpedo launchers you don't have any torpedo attack I could actually give you torpedoes damn yeah that was hurt that will hurt our anti-air yeah fuck that we'll, we'll keep the anti-air yeah torpedoes I'll just use the subs for that mine warfare yeah we want mines definitely all right I'm gonna save this we have a bunch of Navy experience okay so let's build oh fuck what did I edit is it you? Yeah. Oh, you need chromium. Why do you need chromium? Ah, oh, fuck. This is complicated. You don't need chromium. Was it something I changed? Uh... This is exactly the same hull, isn't it? Or no, it isn't. You got mine laying things. Uh, secondary battery. You got no armor at all. Can I just copy paste this one? If I duplicate you, where did it pop up? Is it this one? No. Oh, come on! What's going on? This interface is, is weird to me. Ah. Submarine, destroyer, cruiser, cruiser. Something that I did... Is there a way to get rid of that chromium requirement? I have no idea. It doesn't actually say that a component is going to cost me chromium, is it? No, it doesn't actually say what it, the hull uses. Huh. Okay. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. I don't want to import chromium. So, yeah, we'll just get the other one then. Let's get ten of these and we'll put you on... Battleships, Battle Force. Really? That's what it's called? Alright. Battleships, Battle Force, okay. You just add some more destroyers to you. Uh. Cruisers. Sorry. Cruisers. I wanted cruisers. And. I'll go away with that stuff. I'm trying to figure out the system here. 
Let's get a submarine as well. Um, what are you called? Shouldn't there be a submarine thing I made here? What is this? House Committee supports presidential policy. The latest rounds of hearings in the House Committee on Ways and Means has resulted in a report crediting the president's policies with a major improvement in all available metrics of the economy. While stopping short of outright praise, the report nevertheless comes as a blow to those that were criticizing the president and demanding reforms. Stop with the music. A number of representatives have already publicly declared that although they still harbor doubts about the president's agenda, they will still they will now vote in support. Okay, thank you. If I click you... Uh, okay, you guys are just chilling in Virginia here. Why are you repairing? Oh, you're probably repairing because you got injured from drilling? Ah, okay. This is Task Force 2. I, I gotta change this. Uh... Let's see, uh, East Coast Subs, how about that? And, wait, does it, oh, there it is. I gotta name all of these? See, their drilling is just going way up there. What can I do with this experience? Is it all just to tweak the, um, the ships? I get two of these on convoys. That should use up all of this. This is the amount of dockyards that are currently used for ship repairs. So some of them just get assigned to that? Oh man, this is so complicated. Uh, let's see, you are on naval exercises, yeah. Well, we're about to cap out. Should I spend some time making... I could probably change one of the heavy ships to something that is allowed, because this one is over the limit here. Converted battleship hull. But that, it's all chromium, I don't want that. This one here is cruiser. You are slightly over, you're over by 64, really? Well, what if we drop, uh, let's see. Go to this one. And you go to this one. You go to... Oh, that's way over. Shit. I'll save this. And now I can make you. Okay. Cruiser hull. Yeah. I can only make five? Why are some of them only five? I don't get it. Uh, I'm gonna ditch you. And let's drop some from the subs. Join this one. Alright. I think we should just stop drilling, it's fine. Let's see, we'll put you guys on patrol. Uh, Sargosa Sea. And the Caribbean. And over here. Take care of that. And we'll have the subs just patrol here. Oh, there's too many task force. Uh, okay. So I should have... If I want to cover three zones, I should have three different ship, like, task force within this. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So, because you have three here... Uh, okay, let's ditch these two. Just cover that one. Uh -huh. Operating in Sargosa Sea. I'm gonna ditch... this one. Okay. So, I'm gonna need to get another task force for this, or you can no longer have one fleet with three sea tiles. You have to have three different navies. But then, do they help each other? If one of them gets attacked, do they all, like, hurry over to help out? Uh, let's have you patrol. And that's it. Oh wait, you guys are subs, right? 
and we'll have you guys just the same. Just go ahead and patrol here. That's fine. And I can see here accidents from training. Whoops! Well, you know, accidents happen. All right, I should probably do some stuff. Um, I can't get this one still. It's October. Um, so we got Department of Defense and we got the Pentagon, okay? I don't think we need air stuff right away. I kind of doubt it. I think I'm going to do Intervention in Americas. It's planning speed and we might decide to attack Mexico. I mean, <laughs> why not? Why the fuck not? Uh, you're done. It is 1936 still. Uh, I'm going to get you unlocked. And you are done as well. Uh, I'm going to get field hospital. Oh no, let's get the radio. Radio unlocked. How is my production coming along here? Opposition suffers defeat in the Senate. A motion to censor President Franklin D. Roosevelt has been defeated in the Senate. While even its most ardent supporters had little hope that it would pass, the amount of votes, votes against it came as a shock even to the most pessimistic of observers. It appears that the President enjoys a far greater level of support in the Senate than most believed, which should help in advancing his legislative agenda. I don't want that. I want this guy gone. But we're still below 50% here. We got the Senate, not the House. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, looks like we're stockpiling up some artillery. That's good. Excavation is done. This is basically done. I think I'll just go for this one ahead of time. Yeah. I am perfectly fine with that. Representative speaks passionately in support of government. Asked about her stance on a number of policy issues at a fundraising dinner, a representative spoke out in support of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's policies. She further claimed that many of her fellow representatives had similar views, but were merely held back by idiotic short-sightedness, thinking no further than the next election instead of doing what was right for the American people. Her comments have been widely reported by the press and put several of her colleagues in hot water as they had to explain where they stood on these issues. Ooh, okay. This is not changing at all. Why is it not changing? Support me, kinda. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. The day of the presidential election has arrived. Incumbent Franklin D. Roosevelt has already implemented several of the programs referred collectively as the New Deal, intended to take the U.S. out of the Great Depression. While many of the efforts have been popular, his plans to further extend the role and power of the government have been met with criticism from his opponent, Republican Alf Landon. Coming from the oil industry, Landon wants to see greater economic freedom, while Roosevelt and the Democratic Party want to expand Social Security and ensure economic stability, the election may be a close call or a major victory for the Democrats. Yeah, we're going to go for... This is Democratic Party. We'll go for the Republicans. Because we don't want him there. Yeah. A shift in the political landscape. With a new president now in office, the former opposition in Congress has largely shifted to support the new administration. President Alf Landon can count on the support of 35 senators and 176 representatives? That seems low. Damn, we need some support here. Special measures? Mm. Special measures. Sometimes members of Congress require a more direct personal incentive to realize that what is best for their bank account is also what is best for their country. Really? We're going to bribe some of those people? Isn't that going to backfire? Like, honestly? Okay, we need support to do stuff right now. Uh, war support? Give refuge to Italian scientists. I want this. But it's so expensive. Alfland. Oh, he looks like a greaseball. He looks so disgusting. No! No! Yeah, we can't do anything about wasting our PP on changing this. We're stuck with that. But unfortunately, guys, we are out of time.
So, Franklin D. Roosevelt is gone and Alf Landon is in charge. We can probably now do... Re-establish the gold standards. All right, all right. Um, consumer goods factory is 5%. Stability up by 10. It's going to be at like 100. Which is uh, surprising, seeing as we're in the Great Depression. Anyway, I will see you guys... What? What am I doing? Fuck, I completed the blank there. Never mind. I will see you guys in the next episode, but until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.